delivery day. Customers coming to pick her up. <sighs> it's kind of bittersweet, to be honest with you. Yep, this project to date is it's probably the craziest thing I've done, right? To date, Eric. Probably. Yeah. I think so. Definitely the most involved thing I've done automotive automotive wise. You think? Yeah, I don't think I've done anything. Definitely, I know that for a fact. That's. But she is a good looking car. Yep. It'd be nice to have it out of here so there's no more liability on me for scratching it. But it's going to be kind of weird to see it go. June 15th is when I got that car. It is now April 29th. And I have literally touched everything on that, that body. Uh, I've block sanded that car, honestly, I'd say 30 times. Different, you know, stages. Mud block sanding, primer block sanding, primer block sanding, primer block sanding, clear block sanding over and over and over and over again but yeah, it looks pretty good yeah hopefully the owner shows up with a little sunshine because that's the time to see this paint that's definitely the time i mean it still looks good in the shade a hot dog it looks good it looks real good in the sun looks real good <laughs> bye So as you can see, the Impala's gone. Sad to see her go. Real sad. Another note. Shout out to Black Magic. I uh, ordered that pump on a Sunday and they had that thing dropped off uh, at my shop which is in the midwest if you don't know uh thursday morning so that's pretty good that's pretty good service from las vegas to the midwest in three three and a half days um and the order was placed on a sunday night so impressive Cutlass update. Front end pulled off of this thing. Um, started getting the front end part straightened out. Uh, kind of roughed out, like the first stages of straightening. Put some epoxy primer on the hood. And then I got both fenders over there on the other side of that car. So the epoxy helps kind of seal out some of the old sends 
Um, this thing has been painted before. I don't know exactly what was used or what's under it. So I wanted to make sure I put a good barrier between this and the paint that I'm gonna put on. So epoxy, I've had the best luck with epoxy. I don't know if it's the best stuff to use, but I've had really good luck with it, so. Yeah. Cause you can see like this car, every time this car went out to shows, um, I mean, it looks awesome. Everybody loved the car. But the owner doesn't like the quality of the bodywork um, on the car, which at first glance, you, you almost don't understand what he's talking about. But then when you really, you know, get to looking at it, you can see a lot of waves, a lot of dings. I mean, for most people, it would be just fine. <laughs> but I get it. I get it. There's definitely some waves in it. Um, the trunk, you know, you can catch right there. You see that dang right there in the light. There's a few of them. So, and then. Let's see if I get it to pick up. So that's why we're repainting this one. Definitely a good looking car as it is, but Jesse's just a picky dude. He's just a picky dude. No, I get it. It's gonna look a lot better, that's for sure. Got a little, a little damage in here. We're gonna need to fix that. And then, you know, like they didn't pull off the trim when they painted it, so there's no paint underneath here. You know, just, just some things that I wouldn't necessarily do on a car this nice. And this uh, this guy's definitely going all out on this one, so. We're gonna do it right. Get her smooth, get her purdy. A little paint work. Just sprayed it. Looks good. I might have put my signature in it though. It'll run. It'll run. It'll sand. Other than that, it looks good. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna close the sucker down. I'm gonna head home.